is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to L.A. Noir. Oh, cool jazz room again. This pain to cool the love you pump through my veins Cause I'm burning I'm burning uh, up cool. for you You better not be getting close to some somebody So what's going on? Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. Uh, still not happy about it. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Ooh. Let's go. That sounds fancy. I want to stop him with one round. I wonder if that's actually Sunset Strip where all the 80s bands come from. You know, the good bands. They don't make them like they used to. I think it's like an old band sometimes. It's real though. This way? Okay. I have a hard time remembering. You're driving, but I'm late. What? Ah, oh, game. You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Thank you. Not bad. For Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. And no assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. I think you're gonna get along. Yeah. I gotta be careful hitting people because remember, if we hit people, it hurts our chances of doing good. Wait. Do I have to go up the hill? Here. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy's been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Henry. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that matter. So you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. I like his suit. Carruthers is the coroner from the period that I did. I was first on scene. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. The family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. 
And you show me the body. It's under the pepper tree, this way. Pepper tree? Wait. So what's going on over there? Do trees grow peppers? I legitimately don't know. I thought they were... No, they were vegetables, and not... Oh, crap, I'm confused now. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Thanks, Tanker. Tanker. Here she is. Oh, give a shoot. The stomping angle in the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Dang it. I don't like that. Is she nude? Okay, she's not nude. Wait, she Similar is Similar To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display, footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Oh, come on! She Size of the too. footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Do you mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. Well. Mm. Stomp the death similar to. Actually, let's go back to this. Look at your mark. It's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Okay. I'm just, I'm just a bit concerned with the whole... What's this mark? A cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand, a wedding or engagement ring, violently removed. Uh, check the other hand, arm. Again, sorry, I forgot that. Looks like she was tied up. Who does it first? But that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. I like that. We have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. Parent teacher experience. Oh, the PTA. Oh, money. So they weren't after money. If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? It wasn't. Well, detective. R&I says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. Could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? <laughs> I mean, Dusty's logic makes all the sense. I want to grab the car, but like I said, I don't want to drive any new cars until we get to late fire. Basically, the post game. Can you drive to this one? Yay, I don't have to Bye. drive this time. Where are we headed? There still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If he doesn't work out, that is. Uh. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? You know, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. Well, Phelps just is not giving or taking anything.
Alright. Alright, well, I don't think we'll be done by noon, Rusty. We have an hour left. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Eloise. Can we come in? I suppose so. Hmm. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? gonna have a look around of course his first logic is hey he'll be back any moment just sit tight that's a violin this is part of Michelle's room let's go to the other bit shall we get up some boots here my partner will explain everything work boots size eight the other shoes were. Hold on. That didn't give me a size. Okay. If sizes haven't changed, eight would be a good answer for a small. Elgin wristwatch. It's probably the same one snatched from her body. Yeah, I'll check this just to be safe. It's by Tiffany Co. again. No sign of a wedding ring. Okay. Well, let's go talk with the daughter, and hopefully we won't be too hard on her. Is this about Mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. All right. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. I believe that. I know it's painful, Michelle, but this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. They had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. Mm. Because then you saw her. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. You look like you're hiding something. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called, and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Mm, that's not good. Your mom and dad are... Uh... Happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. Oh, uh, you're not telling me all this whole story. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she was leaving if he ever did it again. She had her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey, what you in? Daddy, the police are here. Go to your room, here. Please, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What the... But, but she only... <laughs> he should... <laughs> he shut up You have quick. some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Alright, footprints inside of the crane. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? 
It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Bruh! Why are you lying to me, Mr. Mueller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? I mean, your size eight work boots? That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. You know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. Uh, why do you know that? You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Yeah, not telling the truth. Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What, do you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Okay, what about... Hugo. Oh, wait, you are Hugo. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Uh... You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Actually, yeah, your alibi. Huh. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Mr. Valance? Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not that's not true, god damn it. We know it's not true. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I mean, you gave her a nice butterfly brooch. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Felt. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. Wait, I'm missing a question. I thought. You should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi. Check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Yes? Yes, ma'am? I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. What? Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Kelly, he, 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 he was fast mode at the last second. Thank you. Is that a shoe? With blood on it. Oh, dude. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? 
I don't. No one's home and. You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. Do you have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and. Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. Galloway, Homicide Division, badge number 564. Go ahead, Detective Unit. Phelps, badge 1247. Baker, technical no. services team to a house at 130 North help, Bonnie Bray Street. I need an address on a Belmont High School. To look after a young Checking lady. for you, Detective. Roger, 11K. Belmont High, 1575 West 2nd Street. Thanks. Got it, KGPL. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? We're going to the morgue, I guess. That makes the most sense here. Top of my class, buddy. I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on me. Uh, I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. And try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Uh, Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. 